Hi everybody, um, here with another video, the video I promised I'd do, which is basically just to compare the hardware and the software between the Google Pixel Fold and the Huawei Mate X3. Um, I haven't seen any other people sort of comparing these two, to be honest with you, so that's why I thought I'd do this for you. Um, so basically I'm going to start just with the Pixel Fold, uh, which has got a case on it at the minute, which I'm going to take the case off just so you can basically see you know, the hardware as it is. And the same with the Huawei, I'm going to take, take the case off. Um, so basically, yeah, so it's up with the Google. The hardware is obviously quite small. It looks, reminds me of like a passport. So if you see in the hand that it's folded, it's actually really quite dinky to be fair, compared to another sort of phone. If you compare it just quickly to the Huawei, like you'll see the difference in the height. Um, like I say, it closes completely flat. So there's no gap or anything there. Uh, it has like a frosted glass back, which is really nice actually. It feels really nice. And as you can see, there's no fingerprints left. Uh, you have three cameras on the back. You've got a main camera, an ultra wide, and then you've got five times a telephoto zoom camera. So, which is quite rare on a foldable phone. And then the sort of, the bar for the camera is made of metal. And as you can see, there's a little flash here. And I think there's a little microphone hole. Uh, so you've got speaker at the top, speaker on the bottom, USB-C charging port there. I don't know if you can see that. And there's nothing else, there's a couple of microphones, and on the right hand side, you've got the power button there, which is also your fingerprint scanner, and you've got volume up and down. And unusually, which is quite unusual, I've never seen this before, but I've never had a Pixel phone before, the power button is above the volume rocker, which is a bit weird to get used to, but you soon get used to it because it is so low down. As you can see, it's not, you know, right, you've got a stretch for it. If you're right handed especially, you just tap on it and it unlocks. Um, so this is the phone folded. And obviously then, if you unfold it, it's a bit of a, it's a little bit awkward to be fair, this phone to unfold. It's got a bit of a resistance. There's no way you could do it one-handed. And then as you unfold it, you can see it's quite wide. So I'll put my finger on the power button then. It's quite wide. And it's got some sort of, you know, quite a bit of bezel on the top and bottom. Uh, you know, if I turn the screen on, you'll see what I mean. So, you know, it doesn't fill the edges. It's sort of, you know, it's, there's a bit of a gap at the top. But it does house the front camera there. Uh, so like I say, you've got a camera there, punch hole one, and then you've got a camera there. So you've got two sort of selfie cameras. Um, and it's quite wide, quite wide screen, and it does, weirdly, I think you've probably seen it, it doesn't fold completely flat. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it doesn't fold completely flat to start with. You can sort of pull it, and then it does sort of go a bit more flatter, but it does, doesn't quite go flat. Which, you know, it's not a major thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see the crease in the screen either. It is quite noticeable. If you can see it in the light there, can you see the crease? So, yeah, you, you do feel that it's a bit of a gutter when you rub your finger over that. Um, right, anyway, that's the Google phone. So, we're going to go to the Huawei phone. Now, this phone, to be honest with you, hardware-wise, personally, I think it's quite a bit ahead of the Google phone. So you can see it looks more like, in your hand it's closed, it looks more like a normal non-folding phone. Ignore the little bubble there, it's a, the factory applied screen protectors. been on it for a few weeks and I've left it on, it doesn't need pulling off because it's a bit scratched up, but like I said, you can buy other screen protectors, it's fine. So yeah, like I say, it's quite a bit lighter than the, than the Pix. So I think that's about 280 gram, that's about 235, 240 gram, I think, top of my head. So, and you can feel that. Um, like I say, you've got leather on the back, which feels really, really nice. That was, you know, you've got the glass on the back of the Pixel, which is frosted, it does feel nice, but I do prefer the leather on the back of the Huawei. So you've got, uh, I think it's triple camera set up. I think there's four sensors there, but I don't think there's actually four cameras. I think you've got the main, you've got a five times telephoto, you've got an ultra wide, and I'm assuming the other sensor just like a depth camera. And then you've got dual flash on this. Um, so you, you the cat, you've obviously got single flash on there, you've got dual flash on the Huawei. And it's in like a circular ring. The thing I like about both these phones is they don't rock. If you put them down on a table and you type and they don't rock side to side, which is nice. Um, you've got, I think, stainless steel frames. And if I, I don't know if you can see this, you can compare the sort of width 
of them. The Huawei is substantial, well not substantially, but it is definitely a bit thinner than the Google. Um, then uh, with the, with the Huawei you've actually got two speakers again, one on the top, just there, if it my camera will focus, there we go, and one on the bottom, there. Yeah. Uh, your USB-C port is just there. And you also have an IR infrared blaster on the top there, which you can use to control TVs, which I've had quite a lot of fun with. You don't see that very often these days. Again, folds completely flat. Just some antenna bands there and a couple of microphone holes dotted about. And then on the side, you have the power button, which is also the fingerprint scanner, and then the volume rocker above it. The only thing I would say about this is the volume, you know, if I'm right-handed, I've got quite big hands, you know, the... the uh, so fingerprint scanner is quite easy to get to, but the volume rocker you have got to sort of you know do it with hand sort of gymnastics to get to it, basically. But it's not a big dish, big issue. But you know you, you have got to be wary of that. Um, you know, again, it like I say, it does feel lighter than the Pixel, and then you'll see you've got a punch hole camera there as well, like on the Google. And then if we open the phone up, this again it, because it's got sort of quite sharper sort of edges to it it's a lot easier to open like that. it's still going to use two hands but it is uh, it's uh still easier to open so this is the main screen as you can see compared to the google which i will just open so you can just compare quickly the uh, the screen on the huawei actually does go closer to the edges you know there's no sort of big bezel there even on the sides it's closer to the edges than the um google and they do have a little hunt a hole punch camera there in the Huawei, which, you know, I know it's not quite as clean as the Pixel, but it does, you know, it's out in the corner. You can't really see, you don't really notice it day to day, to be brutally honest with you. Um, also, regarding the crease, I'll turn both screens off. And if you can see the crease, oh, there's some fingerprints on the screen, but the crease in the Huawei is substantially less than the, than the Google. I don't know if it shows up on camera. I can see, you see all the fingerprints, but... I wish should have given that a wipe, really, but yeah, the, so the, the, the crease is definitely, so you can still feel it, don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near as bad as the, as the Google uh, phone. So, yeah, just hardware-wise, definitely the, the Huawei is, I, I think, leaps ahead of the Google phone. The hinges are nice on both, you know, they both stay, you know, they don't just fold, they just, I don't know if you can see that, but it will just stay, the Google here stays in any position, really, you know, you want until you get to... Well, anyway, right? Then you're going to just clasp shut. Same with the Huawei. You know, you can kind of have it in. It's a bit looser, I'll be honest with you, than the Google. It's not quite as sturdy, but it stays pretty much in any position. I think it's just about to clasp there. There we go. So, yeah, so the Google, to be fair, does stay, you know, if you like that sort of thing where you can have it sort of half open, half closed, you know, it does seem to be a bit sturdier than the Huawei. But then saying that, I've been using the Huawei a lot more, so it could just be that the hinge is loosened up. Um, but then, regarding software, obviously there's a big thing about Huawei and Google, not having the Google services, which is true, obviously, you know, you don't get your Google services on the Huawei, but, you know, there is some workarounds such as GSpace, which I've got there, and Gbox, which you can basically use to do your Google apps. But what I'm finding the most frustrating thing with the Google phone is uh, the certain apps you know, when you've got it open, for example, if I show you Instagram quickly, you know, it just looks like that. And you can double tap that and bring it either side. And I get that. And, you know, I understand why they've done it, because obviously it doesn't look as stretched. But I like to have the option to, you know, same with Twitter or X, as it's called now. You know, it doesn't, it just doesn't fill the screen. And again, you, know, you can tap it like that, but it just doesn't look very good, I don't think. Uh, and there's, there's more than, you know, a lot of the Google apps, don't get me wrong, the Google apps are quite well... You know, done like YouTube, you know, fills the screen and others. You know, but think, and but think certain apps, they just don't look very well optimised for the screen. Whereas on the Huawei, the thing I like about this is, you know, you open it up. And if we open Instagram on this, yes, you know, it's open and stretched and you can't see all the posts in one. I get that. But the thing I like is if you don't like that, you can change it and you can have it either 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. You know, you have that choice, which I really like on the Huawei. Um, you know, so that's just a quick run through of the software. Like I said, there's a few different aspects to it, but personally, I prefer the software on the Huawei than the Google, but I haven't used the Google all that much. So, 
I will keep testing these phones for another couple of weeks. And, um, you know, if you guys have any questions that you want me to test, you know, I've got my SIM card in the Huawei. But if you want me to, you know, swap phones and try what phone calls are like, anything you want to know about, you know, I'm here in the UK, things like signal reception, I can compare the two. Um, you know, anything you want to know, just drop a comment and I will do my best to test for you. Thank you.